Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to present a research on package fetching practices and the challenges of blind and low vision people in China. This work was done with my students, Wen Tao Lei and Julian Tang. More than 131 billion packages were delivered worldwide in just the year 2020. In China, more than 80 billion packages were delivered in that year. Thus, fetching packages is becoming part of the daily routine for many people. However, fetching packages is visually demanding. In China, this process often requires people to search through a pile of packages and recognize the information on them. So, is this process accessible to everyone? In this work, we focused on people with vision impairments. 2.2 billion people around the world have different vision impairments. In China, more than 17 million people are blind or have low vision. We were wondering, how accessible is the package fetching process for BLV people? What are the challenges they encounter? In addition, self-service package pickup machines, also known as Kuai Di Gui, are emerging in many cities in China. Kuai Di Gui consists of a screen and a grid of compartments. Users operate on the screen or physical keypad to open a compartment to get access to their packages. We were also wondering how accessible is Kuai Di Gui to BOV people. To answer the research questions, we conducted in-depth semi-structured interviews with 20 BOV participants in China who had experienced fetching packages. They lived in a large metropolitan area in China, had a varied vision conditions and a different occupations. Our thematic analysis reviewed findings on these three aspects. Due to time limits, I only present some of the findings related to the first two aspects. I encourage the audience to read the full paper for more detail. In China, BLV users often need to leave their homes and travel to a package pickup site to fetch their packages. During the process, they often need to ask for help via a mobile video call. One challenge is with recognizing the terrain of the route. As P2 explained, when I am having a video call, I would have to hold the phone a little higher for the helper to gain a broader view. As a result, the helper couldn't see an elevation on the ground and alert me in time. When BLV users arrive at the package pickup site, they need to probe this environment to locate package sized items while using their limbs or white can. As shown in this picture, one participant is probing the site to look at the packages using his feet and hands. However, during this process, they may miss small packages. As P14 elaborated, if it is a big box or a carton, it will be easier to localize. But if it is a small bag packaged with thin materials, I may think it is a garbage bag or something. They may also have difficulty distinguishing packages from similar sized objects. As before elaborated, if there are a lot of packages piled up and they're about the same size, you need to find someone sighted to help you look for it. After locating the package, BLV users need to locate the printed delivery label on its surface. They do so by touching and fitting the texture of the package surface. As P13 highlighted here, most packages have a text area with a white background, which is the delivery label. In most cases, the recipient cargo logistics information are in that text area. First, the feel of the cardboard box is relatively rough, and the feel of the delivery label is a bit smoother. Second, it can also be identified by my residual vision because the color difference is, is obvious between boxes and a delivery label. The carton is usually brown and the label is usually white and has black letters on it. After that, BLV users need to recognize text by taking a good enough picture of the label and performing OCR using a mobile app. The challenge here is to aim at the correct area and to have a good angle and a focus on the label. This is even more challenging when BOV users have to touch the package with one hand and take the picture with the other one. 
as PY explained, I have to touch the label with one hand, pick up the phone with the other hand, keep a certain distance from the label, align the direction, and then take the picture. Sometimes it may be inaccurate, like taking pictures of the wrong parts. I often have to take multiple shots. There are many other challenges in the process. For example, printed labels are wrapped around more than one surface, which makes it even more challenging for BLV users to take a good picture that contains all the information on the label. Another challenge is that in addition to the delivery label, there are often irrelevant labels on the surface, such as advertisement labels as shown in the figure on the right. Quedigui is an emerging self-service packaging pickup machine. The first challenge is to distinguish Quedigui's from different companies, which are often located in the same area and differ mostly in color, as the figure shows. Moreover, it becomes more challenging for BOV users if there are more than one Quedigui from the same company. As shown in the picture, the two orange-colored Quedigui's are from the same company. Quedigui typically uses a screen to show required user operations. For example, showing a QR code for users to scan or asking users to input pickup digits on the keypad. These processes are hard to follow for BOV users. For example, BOV users have to know where the QR code is located on the screen in order to scan it with their phone. Among many challenges with the screen, one particular challenge is the unexpected pop-up advertisement. As this figure shows, an advertisement pops up in the middle of the operation with a text label saying, the compartment will open in 12 seconds and a skip button aside, which are all inaccessible to BOV users. Another challenge for BOV users is to locate the open compartment. When locating the open compartment with their hands, BOV users may accidentally close it. They also have safety concerns, such as worrying that they may collide into or be tripped by the open compartment. Because many quadrigues are in outdoor, their surfaces may get rusty. BOV users also worry that they may be cut by extruded rusty pieces on the surface. There are many other interesting findings in the paper. I encourage the audience to read it for more detail. Thank you so much for listening, and I'm happy to take any questions.